All right, folks, welcome back to Karak Evaron's Gaming. We're back in Valheim, and today I have another seed discovery video for you. This one is a unique one. This one is does not include a maypole. Um, if you're familiar with my channel, you know that most of the Valheim content that I do is seed discoveries where I'm looking for maypoles, particularly maypoles in really good locations for builds and playthroughs. This particular seed is unique, but it doesn't have a maypole. And you'll see in just a minute, this should be a pretty quick video, but I thought it was pretty cool, so I thought I'd bring it to you. So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe. Please share the video. All that stuff really helps the channel out, and I really, really appreciate the support. Thank you. So, one of the other things that I do on the channel for Valheim, um, it's a seed discovery, but I do small spawn seeds. Um, I don't have a lot of those because there really isn't that many. Most of the spawns in the game are on larger islands um, within the context of the map, right? However, there are a couple that have really, really small starter islands where you spawn and there's really not a whole lot on there. Now, there's also other unique features about Valheim because it's a randomly generated world. You don't know what you're going to get. This particular seed, which I will leave in the, in the title of the video, has a very unique Elder Boss location. Here it is. So this Elder spawn for the Elder Boss is off the coast of this little island over here. Okay, there's this area over here. Now, obviously I'm in cheat mode. Okay, here's a little elder island right here. Okay, you don't see the elder there because I haven't discovered it on the seed yet. But he would appear there once you hit one of the dark forest, um, the black forest. Um, I can't remember the name of the, the stone that you find, that t the boss stone, basically. So, it's just to the north of where you spawn in. Um, now this seed in and of itself isn't horrible. We'll take a look at it in a minute. But this is a pretty unique location for the elder because it's right on the water. Now, the good news is, is most seeds have multiple elder spawns. So you don't have to use this one because this would be a brutal fight. It's really nowhere for you to run. Um, I guess you could range him from the water. But, um, yeah, you'd have to be in a boat, and it would probably wreck your boat. We've got some rocks over here, and the coast is right there to this other little island, which looks like it's got a delve right over there, which is cool. The neat thing about this is, and again, I'm in cheat mode, so, you know, uh, keep that in mind, is you can build on this, okay? So, if you want, you can build a little base right here. Uh, I could see you enclosing this all around, um, you know, and then in here you've got all your interior stuff, right? You can put all your crafting stuff in here, too. Uh, you know, this this acts as a, a, a stone, basically. Now, this fire source will never, never go out, okay? So you see that it does have fire and it never goes out now that's good because you never really have to you know put wood in there which is you know not a big deal um you do have some gray dwarfs that spawn but once you build a um once you build like a uh, a workbench or something they probably won't spawn but i think this is a pretty unique little location it's this own little island out here in the middle of nowhere Okay, so let's take a look at the map real quickly, just to, to get an idea of what's on the seed. So you may want to build an elder base here. I think it would be cool. So here is that map, okay? Now here was the spawn. This spawn actually isn't such a bad location. It's in a nice big bay. Um, directly north, here's that elder island, okay? It's really, really small. Um, I haven't really unveiled most of the map, because I, I don't think that I'm going to do a playthrough here. But I think this would be a pretty cool base location on the Elder Shrine. Um, now, the other Elders, you know, if you really want, you're going to have to get Elder at some point. Um, there's one down here. 
but maybe it'd be cool to, to spawn him at your base. I don't know. Um, this particular seed is pretty decent. It, you know, the, the bosses are okay. Uh, you've got a trader right here on the, on the water. I was going to check that out as well. Because I think that would be really, really cool to uh, have a trader right there. I'm searching for an, a small island trader as well. That would be cool. Um, but I'll leave the seed in the video description. Uh, maybe this is something you're interested. I don't know. It's just in my travels along um, the Valheim world and the Reddit and my seed discoveries. I found this. I thought it would be really cool to do a small, uh, do a quick video on it. If you want a elder location that's out in the middle of the water that you can you know build a little base on here it is okay now, I think I may have found another one as well I'll do a video on that um, I'm not gonna do a build here I think you could probably find a build somewhere um, on the internet if you look enough that has an elder base I think I saw one that had a it was elaborate it was built underneath the elder um, this one, you, you're just going to have water if you dig under here. But, you know, normally, I mean, I don't know if you use this strat, but when I fight Elder, I usually dig underneath just to just to have a place to escape if I need it. Um, oftentimes I don't, but I still do that. Anyways, um, neat little Elder Island. It's all by itself out here in the ocean. Um, pretty close to your spawn, too, so that's pretty cool. Um, I think this would be a neat little base. Um, because these pillars can't be destroyed. Uh, this floor can't be destroyed. This fire doesn't need to be um, replenished. I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you again soon.